I, I do sing in the show, yeah. but I don't want to give much away, but I do sing in this, this little karaoke, but I sing really badly. Uh, <laughs> really badly <laughs> and off key. But that's all right, because he's the body. Yes, yes. He's, yeah. not he's not supposed to be. To be yeah. But you see, thankfully, Kevin Costner didn't have to sing in the film. No. Yeah. Right? If he have... did, he probably would have sounded like I did in the show. <laughs> I, could, I could imagine that. I could imagine that. Did you have a sneaky peek? Did you remind yourself of how Costner portrayed yes. Frank Yes, Farmer? I yeah. did. Oh. Yeah, I did, absolutely. I hadn't seen it for years, and yeah. I just. I don't know, there was something, I uh, just before I started rehearsals, I just wanted to get a feel of it again. And um, it, I found it really helpful. Some actors don't. Uh -huh. And for a lot of things I do, uh, I don't go to the original material. But for this show, because it's so iconic, uh, I just yeah. wanted to get... I remember seeing his performance and, like, I think he's an awesome actor. Mm. I think and it is. did help when I started yeah. into rehearsals. It's just real groundedness about his I'm very lucky that I've met him. Have you ever met him? I haven't, no. Well, he's I a nice do, guy. I do, he's a very nice guy. He supports Arsenal, but I'll forget Good that. boy! <laughs> <laughs> he's the closer bond ever. But I will say this, your physique and your build and your height, very, very yes, similar. Yes, oh, there right. was a look very, of very Kevin similar. Okay. about yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. He's a better singer, but, you know, <laughs> besides that. Now, listen. I, uh, it's amazing you're in this show, and we've spoken to Beverly about the show as well, but it's even more amazing and so fantastic that you're here talking about this after, and I think a lot of people look and see a guy as fit as you, and they would think, he's never been through a cancer scare, and in your case, a bowel cancer yeah. scare. Yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah, I'm now four years four years clear, which I'm, I'm really chuffed yes. about, so next year's the big milestone. Five years for, especially bowel cancer, is a big stepping stone, because that's your pretty much that that's that's the big one the way you're pretty much clear but um yeah feeling super fit and healthy i uh, go to the gym regularly so mm. it's all good and it was very important for you you said to talk about it because yeah. bowel cancer particularly is something that people get slightly embarrassed well about. no one does Ruth. no one yeah. no no one speaks about it it's um it's i don't I, I guess it's just it's just one that people don't talk about so when i did and i when i when i got it uh, i i researched and there was nothing there was bobby moore foundation mm. was the one but there was nobody younger was talking about it. Now, people, younger people do get it. So I said, well, OK, um, it's my responsibility of being someone in the public eye to um, raise awareness. You so didn't that have to do that. I mean, you could have... I don't know. I just think there's, if I'm yeah. lucky enough to survive it... There's no one championing it, the cause mm. of that. Yeah. But if people will say, why did it come your way? Because, you know, I'd, when you read the information that talks about eating red meat, being obese, all that sort of thing, I mean, look at you. Mm. You know, you hardly fit the... The warning yeah. signs, do you? Um, I think there is something. I, I, I'm not a doctor, so I, and, and, but there is something with Western diets because uh, the Eastern diet, they, were, they had zero bowel cancer. And now more Western diets going over to the East, yeah. uh, bowel cancer is um, massively increased. So there is something in processed food, red meats, um, and stuff that we do with our food over here. And what were the sim why, when did you think something's not right here? It was a, it was the classic, uh, the classic example of a change in bowel habits and mm. um, blood. Mm. And um, and did you go to the doctor quite quickly? No, or, no. <laughs> no, so you're no, a man, typical guy. Yeah, you know, just uh, scared, embarrassed. Um, I self-diagnosed for months. You know, it's this or it's that mm. or whatever. And I, I, I was filming in India this film, so I figured it was the, the spicy food. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, eventually I was, I was due to go to America to do pilot season, mm. so um, I was advised to go and get myself mm -hmm. checked out, and the rest is history. Thank well, look, well, thank can goodness we talk you about did. the future now? And yeah. the future will involve your lovely daughter. Your daughter's name is Freya. Yeah. Freya yeah. Emily. Look, you absolutely in love. It's she's absolutely stolen my heart. My two girls, Kirsty and Freya, are my world, and. Um, that's, it's just absolutely turned my life upside yeah. down. It's, yeah. She's the most awesome thing. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Absolutely huge. Harriet was four months when I started filming. And I had to get on a train and leave her for four days and nights. And my darling in-laws came down to look after her.